I'm Jason Wilson with Crush Restaurant in Seattle, chef owner here. At Crush we like to focus on the highest quality ingredients. As we look at seafood, obviously we can turn to Alaska seafood and Wild Alaska True Cod is what I'm going to be using today. We'll be doing two frying preparations. One is a completely submerged deep frying and the other a pan frying to slightly submerged in oil. So the first step in our deep frying process is going to be to take the cod and I'm just going to remove any excess moisture before seasoning it. So kosher salt for seasoning. I'm going to let this set for just a moment while I work on my batter. Now this is a mixture of uh, flour, cornstarch, a little bit of baking soda, and I'm going to add some sparkling water. And this will bring us to a nice little texture here. So to batter the fish, we're just going to take our fish here, dip in our batter, and then she goes in. So again, just coating the, the fish lightly with this batter. We're going to shake some of it off and then go into our fry oil. Now it's important to note that we, we need our fry oil at a temperature of 350 Fahrenheit to really execute a deep fry correctly. Have a nice crispy exterior and then a nice moist, juicy interior. So you can see here this nice golden brown color that we have from the, the frying, the deep frying. Now we're going to remove these. So we have here our deep fried Wild Alaska True Cod, a uh, crispy, crunchy exterior, obviously golden brown, lovely in appearance. And I'm just going to serve this with some uh, fresh lime wedges for acidity and then a little bit of a curry aioli. So the accompaniments are up to you. But deep frying, obviously, a fantastic way to present Wild Alaska True Cod. So we've accomplished uh, deep frying with fantastic results. We're also going to do a little pan frying here as well, also with Alaska True Cod. So I'm going to take a little bit of kosher salt to season. We're also going to bread this true cod and so that the presentation side is what I want to use. Dipping here in a little bit of buttermilk. It's a nice way to adhere our breading and uh, I think buttermilk adds a, a lovely flavor for it. And then we're going to dip it in a little bit of panko. So we've seasoned it and now breaded our fish as well. So it's important to note that the amount of oil that we want to use is going to be about one third of the uh, fish that you'll be frying. So we're going to take our Alaska True Cod here and start the pan frying process. I want to make sure my oil is hot. And what we're going to do here is lay the um, breaded side down first into the fry oil. And we'll place it so the fish falls away from our hand so as not to have any injury and turning it down just slightly. We have a lovely dark brown and lovely texture, but dark brown color here for our presentation. And this pan frying here is going to make sure we execute this very, very well, holding in the juices on both sides of the fish. So we want a couple of seconds on the other side and we're going to remove this fish I want to rest it with a little bit of uh, towel underneath it and we use a little bit of service paper towel here. And this obviously you can see has a great crunch to the exterior while locking in a lot of the juice. So a very simple presentation, uh, a little bit of a chili sauce and our lovely fish here, the Alaska True Cod that's been pan fried and obviously flavorings up to you. But here we have pan frying as a fantastic juicy and delicious way of executing the cooking of Alaska True Cod.